Hello and welcome to more Three Spine Stickleback fishing adventures. I'm on a small brook. We haven't had much rain in the last couple of weeks. So of course this venue, which is shallow at the best of times, could do with some water to freshen it up. That's the same whether you're talking about the mighty rivers of the country or these tiny little tributaries. In fact, this is a brook that goes into a brook that goes into a brook that goes into a brook that eventually makes its way via the River Severn, because I'm on this side of the English watershed into the Bristol Channel. Although the water's passing right now, it will take some time before it actually reaches the sea. Although we're in the first third of August, just nevertheless, the signs of autumn are all around us. The lords and ladies are showing well with their distinctive, brightly colored berries in the hedgerows. And talking of berries, lots of those either here now or on the way as the mammals and the birds will have a feast as we go into autumn. And before we realize it, well, we will be in that particular season. Time flies, doesn't it? And that's why I'm always making the most of every opportunity. And today, that means my poacher's pocket mini rod and reel setup. I'm going to put a maggot on the hook, cast out, and I'll be back with a stickleback. That didn't take long, first cast, and it's one of the smaller ones, but it took the hook, although just inside the mouth, so easy enough to get out. That's always an issue, you don't want any fish, especially these, where it's gonna be hard with a disgorger to uh, take the bait down fully. It's better to lose a fish or two than to have to struggle with a disgorger. I'm just casting out for the second time. I've got a, a shot that's going straight to the bottom and then I've got about 10 inches, 12 inches of line so that the bait can respond quite naturally. Immediately, the fish are onto it. <laughs> that was, well, if you can see that there, the gap between my finger and thumb is minimal. That was the tiniest fish I've ever had. Obviously it wasn't hooked. I don't think it was much bigger than the hook, but it was hanging on. As I lifted it from the water though, it did a disappearing act like that one did there. <laughs> that was a small one, but a little bit bigger than that fish I'm referring to. As you can see, I'm, I'm pulling out quite often because, as I've said, I don't want to get any fish that take the hook uh, too deep. I'm going to have one last cast. I've caught 15 fish so far. Immediately, the smaller ones are onto, onto the maggot. When it sinks to the bottom, though, often, they will lose interest. So I give it a, a slight lift and that creates more interest in the bait. Oh, that was another tiny, tiny stick. Did I say one cast, one last cast? Oh, let's have another one, shall we? I've got to go soon though, because today is the day of the UEFA Europa League. I know we're still playing last season, but next season's preliminary and qualifying round one will be drawn today. And the new Saints is in the same pot as two teams from Slovakia, one from Malta. Now, unfortunately, this time around, no home and away legs, just one tie. So from a club perspective, I suppose you would want the Malta team at home. But from a personal angle, as a ground hopper who enjoys football related travel, I tell you what, an away tie would be perfect for me. I've never seen football in Slovakia or Malta. In fact, I've never been to either of those countries. So that would be good for me. I think I'm going to leave this though. Go on, let's have one more cast. <laughs> this will be the last one. There's one or two nice fish out there. I have caught 
some bigger ones as well. I think though, I'm going to leave this with 15 fish because I really do need to get home because I'm working from home today so I can cover the draw that will be live on the UEFA website. See you soon. I'm home now and the draw has just started so I'll be able to see whether we're off to Malta, Slovakia or maybe at home because it's just over one leg. That's it then, we're at home to the Slovakian side. Well, one of them because there were two in our pot.